SS6G10. This standard asks us to compare how location, climate, and natural resources affect where people choose to live. So what this is asking us is how do location, climate, and natural resources help people to decide where they're going to live, where they're going to work, and things like that. So I'm going to go into more detail about that right now. So to begin our discussion today on standard SS6 G10, we're going to bring up something maybe you haven't heard of before. It's called population density. And to know what this word means, you probably, I mean, you probably already know what population means, how many people live in a place, but you may not know what density means. And so to figure it out, we look in our handy dandy dictionary right here. And according to this dictionary right here, the word dense means thick or packed close together. So population density tells you how close together those people live. So let's imagine that these four circles right here are all different cities, okay? So this one, we'll say nobody lives here, okay? Nobody lives in this city for whatever reason. So there's just no population here, okay? There's just no population whatsoever. And then let's say over here, they've got a few people, okay? They have a very low population density. Low population density. Low population density. Okay, we've got no population density whatsoever. Then we've got low population density. Then we come over here, and this one, they're a little bit more packed together. Okay, we'll have it be really packed in over here. And then they kind of spread out. So this one, I would say, this is kind of maybe a medium population density, but obviously on this side it's it's higher. They're closer together. And then finally we'll come to this one. And this, people love it here. For whatever reason, they love it. So they just keep moving in. Okay, they keep moving in. Oh, they keep coming. Now they've got to start building skyscrapers. There's so many of them. So this place has a really high population density, exclamation point. People are still moving in. They have a high population density. So that's how it works, all right? So no population density because there's no one there. Very low population density. They're all spread out. Here we've got kind of a medium. You know, there might be places where there are pockets of them, but they're still pretty spread out. But here, you know, like I said, they still are moving in. People just can't get enough of this place. So that's where you're going to have the high population density. All right. The first factor, and it could be a push or pull factor depending on where you're living, but the first factor the standard mentions is climate. Now, for today's video, I'm going to use Florida as an example just because I think a lot of us have been to Florida, so we can relate to Florida. Um, but anyway, Florida, let's talk about climate in Florida. What do you think Florida's climate is like? Has your family ever gone to Florida? Maybe, maybe not. But I know that lots of people like to move to Florida to be close to the beaches. So their population density along the beaches might be more because it's nice, you got the breezes coming off the ocean, than let's say like in central Florida because it might be kind of humid. So kind of humid, not so much breezes, less densely populated. But then again, along the coast, they like the climate there, they like the breezes off the ocean, they have some tropical storms here and there, okay, hopefully not the hurricanes, but you'll see that it's more densely populated in the areas where the climate is nicer. And some people like the beach, so they would want to move here. Some people are not big fans of the beach, so they might not want to move here, but you can see that depending on climate, a location may be more densely populated or less densely populated. Throughout a lot of Florida, it gets pretty humid and pretty hot, so people might not want to live there, but on the coast where it might be cooler because the breezes again are coming off the ocean, things like that, they might want to pack it in around, along the coastline. And also, it's when I think of Florida, I think of sunshine and 
Everybody likes sunshine. So that's how climate might affect where people live. The second factor that the standard mentions is location. People might move somewhere to be located closer to something. So it can be a pull factor or a push factor if you want to be located further away from something. Let's say a factory opens in your backyard and you want to move to get far away from it. That could happen too. But again, let's talk about Florida. Let's talk about Florida. Um, a big thing that has to do with location in Florida, we already kind of talked about, but people want to live along the coast so they can be located close to the beach. They like the beach. So they might move and be more densely populated along the beach. Okay, really dense, really dense, really dense, really dense, really dense. But what's interesting, and I just noticed this, is if you look in the atlas, okay, and we're going to look at the population map. If you zoom in and look, you can see the darker red areas are the places where people live, where more people live, the more densely populated areas. If you look at this one right here, and again, I know it's not very easy to see. That is Orlando right there. Orlando. Okay, so Orlando is right about here. Okay, maybe a little lower. But Orlando is where Disney World is. Okay, so Mickey Mouse Disney World is in Orlando, Florida. Now, Orlando does not have a very nice climate. I mean, it's warm, and their seasons are pretty mild. But the thing about Orlando, it's it's kind of swampy. It's like muggy, it's hot, and it's humid. But in 1965, when Walt Disney announced that they were going to be building Disney World in Orlando, the, um, the price of land went up, it shot up. And um, a lot of people wanted to move there because they knew there would be a lot of opportunities, economic opportunities there. And now, Orlando, if you look at this, is one of the most densely, part, densely populated parts of Florida. So if you look at this, it kind of shows you how location, being close to something, like Disney World, has really densely populated, it's really packed the people in this area. And if you've ever been to Orlando, you know exactly what I'm talking about. There's a lot of people in and around Orlando. So that's how location might affect where people live. Finally, the standard mentions natural resources and how natural resources might affect where people choose to live. Um, and first thing I think about when I think about natural resources in Florida, what do you think it is? I think of fishing and fish and stuff like that, okay? Um, and I know when the oil spill happened in the Gulf of Mexico a few years ago, it really affected the fishing in um, a lot of these parts, especially along, along the Gulf. But I think of fishing. So if I am a fisherman, I'm not going to go live in, like, Tennessee because it's landlocked. I'm going to come live in a place like Florida. So a lot of these coastlines are going to be more densely populated with people who use fishing to support their lifestyle. They might be fishermen, they might have a restaurant that sells seafood, and I know if you've been to a beach in Florida, there are plenty of seafood restaurants, okay? But that's going to make these coasts become a little bit more densely populated with people who have fishing as part of their life and maybe part of their economy. So that's something that people in central Florida don't really have, they don't have fishing as much. Now they can still get fish from the coast, but it's going to be the freshest for those people who live right along the coast. So that's how natural resources might affect where people live and what jobs they have. Use things like climate. Think about climate. Think about natural resources. Think about location and try to put those things together. You know, why do so many people live up here? Why do so many people, I don't know, live right here? Why do so many people live down here? All right. Try to think about that the next time you're looking at a population density map and then the next time you're thinking about climate, natural resources, and location. Bye!